click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends myself professor uday bukre now i am welcoming you on your own youtube channel ekida hope you are watching my videos regularly finding it interesting and also sharing with your friends if you are watching my video right now for first time my request is please subscribe to our channel ekida and also press bell icon for your latest notification the advantage is that you will get regularly ca course discussion lectures free of cost on your youtube okay students so we are going ahead with question number 1 which is now on your screen promoters of glorious limited took over on behalf of a limited company a running business with effect from 1st april 2000 x1 so business is taken over from 1st april 2000 x1 company got incorporated on 1st of august so 1st april to 1st august is a pre incorporation period so i can say april may june and july four months will come as a pre incorporation period and thereafter it will be post the annual account were made up to 31st march 2000 x2 which revealed that the sales for the whole year total to 1600 lakhs out of which sales till 31st of july that is pre pre incorporation period where 400 lakhs obviously remaining will be for post incorporation the rate of gross profit is provided to you 25% very simple understanding now before i proceed further in this discussion want to mention no matter which question you are solving basic two ratios you keep ready for you that is sales ratio and time ratio so in this example also we will do that before i begin with my actual work there are given various expenses and now i need to decide how it can be splitted in my calculation of profit or loss salaries will be divided on time ratio because salary is by default is a fixed cost rent rates insurance will be also divided on time basis sundry office expenses also will be divided on time basis travelers commission is usually for sales purpose so it will be allocated on sales ratio discount allowed will be allocated on sales ratio budgets being related with sales it will be also allocated on sales ratio director fees will be only for post incorporation because in firm there could not be a director fees it will come in the post incorporation tax audit fees they are saying it is tax audit tax audit means it is as per income tax rule and if it is as per income tax rule it will be allocated in which ratio sales ratio depreciation on tangible asset being a fixed cost it will be divided on time basis debenture interest definitely must be of a limited company it will be taken directly in the post requirement is prepare a statement showing calculation of profit for pre incorporation and post incorporation periods okay so we will work on that we are ready with our table now before i proceed further as i said we will work out two ratios by default what are those two ratios one is time ratio second one is sales ratio so we'll go ahead with that first working out we will draw for calculation of time ratio to decide the ratio i need three dates first is take over date second is incorporation date and last one is account closing date three dates are provided in the example take over date is 1st april x1 incorporation date is 1st august 2000 x1 and year ending or closing date is 31st march 2000 x2 i am noting these three dates the period before incorporation is called as a pre incorporation period and period after incorporation will be called as post incorporation period it will have how many months april may june july four months will be considered 
and after july that is from august onward remaining 8 months will be here so what can be our time ratio is equal to 4 is to 8 which can be also read as 1 is to 2 important is how you are calculating the ratio right to the extent possible minimize the ratio your calculation will be easier number two i need to find out sales ratio in the example they gave you that their total sales were 1600 lakhs out of which sales till 31st of july were for rupees 400 lakhs that means remaining will be for the remaining period so i am noting it down total sales they gave you 1600 lakhs they are saying up to or till 31st july the sales amount was 400 lakhs that is from 1st april to 31st july and after that it will be 1st august x1 to 31st march x2 can't i say it is a period of pre-incorporation and it is a period of post incorporation the amount they give you during this period during first period their sales were 400 lakhs and during post will be obviously a balancing figure which is 1200 lakhs hence my sales ratio will be 400 is to 1200 if I minimize it is 1 is to 3 these two ratios by default you are calculating in all questions no matter which question we are doing these are needed okay so now I am coming to the example again in example they also mentioned that their gross profit ratio was 25 percent so GP ratio 25 percent so based on that I will work out GP right so I am calculating GP is equal to 25% on sale. So your sales were 1600 lakhs. On that 25%. That comes to 400 lakhs. And it will be allocated on which ratio? Sales ratio. Alternatively, you can separately work out GP on 400 lakhs and on 1200 lakhs as we have done sales allocation also. So I am coming to my main answer sheet. First part I am writing here a gross profit. It is as per calculation. Amount was 400. How it will be allocated? It will be allocated in which ratio? Sales ratio. So I am writing here sales. What is our sales ratio in working note we have seen? Our sales ratio is 1 is to 3. So divide by 4 will give you 100. So I can say 100 in pre-incorporation and in post-incorporation it is 300. Is it clear? So this is my first part. See always keep this part separate so that calculation will be easier. So it is my A part where I have closed my calculation of income side I can say gross profit we have done b part i will find out what expenses i need to debit all expenses i will note down step by step first they give you salary 69 69 how it will be allocated we decided it is on time basis and what is your time ratio time ratio is 1 is to 2 so divide by 3 23 multiply by 2 46 our time ratio is 1 is to 2 next 
rent rates and insurance 24 it is also our fixed cost it will be allocated in which ratio time ratio this also will be allocated in time ratio what is our time ratio 1 is to 2 time ratio is 1 is to 2 so divide by 3 8 and 16 next amount is sundry office expenses 66 again it is also allocated in which ratio time time means 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 means divide by 3 so it will be 22 and 44 travelers commission 16 travelers commission relates with sales so i will allocate in which on which basis sales what is your sales ratio 1 is to 3 your sales ratio is 1 is to 3 so divide by 4 4 4 are 16 so i can say 4 and 12 next amount is discount allowed 12 discount allowed also relates to sales so i will divide it on the basis of sales sales ratio is 1 is to 3 so divide by 4 4 3s are 12 and 3 3s are 9 next bad debts next amount is given bad debts 4 it is also located on the basis of sales what is your sales ratio 1 is to 3 so i can say it is 1 and 3 director fees we know it is allocated directly to the post amount is 25 tax audit fees 9 it will be allocated on sales ratio is 1 is to 3 which is i can say 1 is to 3 so 9 divided by 4 comes to 2.25 multiply by 3 6.75 right depreciation on tangible asset 12 it will be allocated in which ratio time and time ratio is 1 is to 2 so divided by 3 3 4s are 12 and 3 2s are 8 next debenture interest it will be Devanger interest amount is 11. It will be taken directly in post 11. In this way, I got expenses allocation. Total expenses, we will call it as a B total. Let us take the total of first column. 248 is my total amount of expenses. Total. Now I will take pre incorporation card total and then I will take post incorporation card total. You can cross verify total of these two expenses is 248. So we have to have a cross verification. And C part I will get profit or loss. If there is a loss, I will write it as a negative figure. How it is calculated? A minus B. My overall profit is 152. Pre incorporation profit is 32.75. So this is what my profit in pre and post incorporation, right? If question asks you how treatment will be given, then I will write further thing also. Otherwise your answer ends here. What they have asked you? They have asked you what is pre statement showing calculation of profit in pre incorporation, post incorporation. So we have done that. But for our information, this is your capital profit. It will be transferred to capital reserve. And this is your revenue profit which will be continued in PL account of a limited company. In this way, this easy question comes to an end. Sir, will this question come in the exam if you are very lucky? You can expect this example. 
but a very easy question i don't expect in exam they will ask but still this is very basic level question to understand the concept it is easy and it is important so this basic question you must go through students surely you have understood this question i have no doubt on that that then do if you have any queries any explanation you need please put in the comment box so i will reply to your comments thank you for watching this video keep watching video keep sharing it with your friends thank you god bless you all